hi guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to review an app called faggot it's a budgeting app it's available on ios and android i'll leave the links down in the description so you guys can check it out and let me know if you find this video helpful in the comments below sharp let's start <music> So I'll start showing you from the uh, settings. Okay, so go to settings. Now this is restore my lost data, and then my data is fine. Please stop asking. Now this one is it's actually I deleted my original data. You know I didn't want to do a review with the original data. Now down here you can see this Dropbox save and restore. When you enable this option, you need to have a Dropbox account, and then this application will be saving uh, your data to Dropbox account, and then there's restore from Dropbox. And then you can see fidget pro upgrade now here my my, my fidget is actually upgraded and then there's get fidget for desktop um now fidget for desktop is actually even available on the mac as well and then there's current currency symbol you can select pound euro you know all that so i'm just going to leave the dollar symbol okay done and then there's show running balance show uh date column swipe to delete so you can actually enable all this and then you see there's a um, face id login this this is the one that i enabled so this is actually important guys if you have fingerprint or uh passcode you need to enable this just so that anyone cannot just come to to the application okay now let's go back here and then um, we are going to add a budget, say May. Okay. And then we go in that budget. And then we are going to add an income. So an income is actually, say maybe you, the salary is um, 8,000. Okay. And then maybe you, there's a, an additional income coming in for uh, maybe you are renting out a room rent okay maybe it's 2000 okay so your total income will be 10,000 you can see down here down here on the bottom left corner 10,000 the balance will be 10,000 okay now we're going to add an expense Expense can be maybe water. Water you pay six hundred every month, and then you pay electricity. Electricity will be maybe five hundred, and then maybe you have DSTV explore or something i think that thing is a thousand uh, yeah and then there's um you have maybe a netflix account which is 150 a million dollars you have uh, a wi-fi which is um say 400 okay and then another expense can be um maybe gym 800 per month okay all right i think that's enough that's enough all right okay so now you can see that um the income remains the same is ten thousand it doesn't change the balance is now 6550 this is actually the, the the amount that we are going to have the other one that we added in expense is gone it's not ours anymore so here by the balance we, we can select paid you can see here on paid it says zero zero so this other side you can see income is ten thousand and then we select the other one next to it expense you can see it says 
minus 3450 that means this amount is just going in expenses okay now let's go back let's take it back to balance okay so um you can see if we if we swipe if we swipe to the to the left you can see there's delete star paid and then this other one is a calculator so from there let's start on water water is actually an expense so we're going to say did we pay water yes we did pay water okay let's process it out we paid electricity we paid dstv i don't know if we paid we just came out you know debt orders <laughs> okay and then netflix we paid netflix now notice here when we come here to the page you can see that paid now is actually increasing because we're actually paying these things so we go to wi-fi do we pay wi-fi 400 yes we paid you can see paid again it goes up and then gym we paid now an expense should be the same as paid you know you actually your expenses you're supposed to pay your expenses guys you know this thing so it's 3450 this is the expense and then it's paid all right so from there now say you you want to um you anything that you you anything that you, you purchase or anything that you want to all right guys so as you can see now when we said if on salary we can go to salary and then we can start salary now when you start it means you want that amount to go to the next budget that you're going to create so this means your salary is going to be eight thousand so you start it your rent you start so we're actually going to start all this because these expenses are going to be there the next month so i start everything and then i can go back and then i can create a budget for june okay and then we go in june you see it's asking add start items then we can say yes so when you add start items in the budget of june you can see everything these expenses are still going to be there you are still going to pay water you are still going to use electricity dstv is still going to go off netflix wi-fi gym you know all this so anything maybe say your uncle asked you money you can add as an expense you include your uncle uh maybe he wants uh 500 you add it there 500 now this will be in june now it's not going to be but because and then if you start this if you are still going to give your uncle that 500 the next month you can actually choose to start it that means it will show you like your uncle still need that amount okay so when you select here on options you can see there's a chart this chart will actually show you you know dstv is a thousand so dstv is actually the the biggest expense because it's 25.32 percent then there's gym uh 20.25 percent okay so let's go back and then you can see here on all budgets all budgets actually means it includes the budget for may and june now when you check may you can see 6550 this is the amount that you had in may and then in june the amount that is going to be available to you is going to be 6000 and 50 all right guys so that's how you use budget all right guys that's about it thanks for watching until next time peace